Hey everybody, Travis here. Now, in a different video, I touched on the fact that I have bought and sold tons of gear on Craigslist over the years, and for the most part, it's gone really great. What I neglected to mention in that video was that buying and selling gear is not the only utility for Craigslist. Through the years, I've also connected with a lot of other musicians through Craigslist. There's a musician's community forum right there. And whether you're looking for bandmates or you're just looking for collaborations, whatever it may be, it is a good resource to utilize. The last band that I put together consisted of myself and somebody else that I'd worked with through the years. We needed two other members. We found them both on Craigslist. They've been in the band for the last four years. So again, Craigslist is a good resource for finding bandmates and collaborators and just connecting with other musicians in general. Just like the gear trade though, it's not the only resource. A lot of times larger cities will have their own sort of music scene connection websites. There used to be like musicians classified ads in weekly newspapers. There might still be in certain places. But definitely look around in your area to find out where those resources may be. Whether it's a print publication or it's a website. In the past couple of years we've found replacement players through Facebook. That's primarily the social media that we use but we're kind of old. There might be something else that the kids are using nowadays. So don't be afraid to ask around, make some connections, and just find the pieces that you need to get where you're going with your music. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and a share. If you're interested in more tips on how to make yourself and your band more successful, please do subscribe to the channel. Check out the rest of the channel's content, and I will catch you next time.